Pakistan has taken continuous recourse to the decade-old tactics of playing the victim card in regards to the Kashmir dispute, particularly at the Organization of Islamic Cooperation or OIC. The overstated Kashmir cause exemplifies the tendency of the hunger-struck nation to absolve itself of the responsibilities and manipulate the narrative against India. From a vantage point, the tactics of Pakistan not only reveals lack of accountability, but a hyperbolized religiously fanatical desire to control perception rather than finding a peaceful resolution to the Kashmir conflict. Hello and welcome to TFI Post. I'm your host Vedika. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. If you're watching us on Facebook, do like, share and follow the page. Let's begin with the video report. Pakistan has over the years adopted a radical foreign policy of reaching out to the world with a begging bowl policy. With it, the namesake democracy of Pakistan dances to the tunes of Mullah General Asim Munir, who has constantly been trying to sell the Kashmir cause to the OIC and the oil-rich Gulf nations. But in an unfortunate turn of fate for Pakistan, Saudi Arabia and the UAE, have asked it to stop thinking about the Kashmir issue and befriend India. Pakistan is accustomed to crying like a chatbot on every platform. Consequently, even the global community is fed up with the repetitive harping of Pakistan over Kashmir, more so with the cause of unifying the Indian state of Kashmir with Pakistan. Conversely, with the current economic crisis that Pakistan is in, the sympathetic allies of Gulf have advised it to forget the Kashmir issue and focus on increasing cooperation with India. The development can be seen as a major embarrassment for Pakistan. Moreover, Pakistan has always been under the misconception that it can manipulate the global narrative against India and win support over the Kashmir issue. But the move of Saudi Arabia and the UAE of advising Pakistan to stop unnecessarily crying over India's decision to end the special status of Jammu and Kashmir is seen as a setback for the Islamic Brotherhood of OIC. Saudi Arabia is believed to be one of the most influential countries in the OIC. The advice coming from such a fellow nation would severely affect the morale of the Pakistani establishment and politicians alike. However, the significance of the statement of the Gulf nation gets exemplified by the fact that earlier this month, the Pakistani Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif, in his terrified blabber with UAE-based Al Arabia, indicated towards Nuke's implications of a prospective war with India. Earlier, Shehbaz Sharif requested for a third-party intervention to settle the ongoing Kashmir conflict with India. He appealed to the oil-rich UAE to take part in resolving the dispute, citing their close ties with both India and Pakistan and their potential to play a significant role. On the contrary, the two Gulf nations found it appropriate to suggest to Pakistan that it should not forget its reality and focus on the hunger-ridden population. The Gulf can be said to have realized the geopolitical significance of India. India is seeking a significant investment from these countries in the Kashmir region. On the other hand, the Gulf nations aim to diversify their economy away from oil and sea potential for growth in India. Moreover, it is also instrumental to note that India has firmly opposed the notion of third-party intervention in the Kashmir issue. Furthermore, India has communicated to the international community that the revocation of Article 370 is a purely internal affair. In addition, Home Minister Amit Shah has endorsed from the floor of the parliament that Kashmir is an integral part of India and that POK will eventually return to India. Despite that, Pakistan has been claiming that the bilateral relationship between the two nations has diminished to the point where a third party must intervene. Nevertheless, India's stance remains unchanged and the Gulf nations have reaffirmed their support for India's position 
by reprimanding Pakistan in the Kashmir cause.